Hello everyone, and let's check out a beautiful chess game by Capablanca. And in this chess game, Capablanca has the white pieces, and his opponent is Roland Scott. And this game was played on Hastings in 1990, followed by the end of the disastrous World War I. The year was 1919. And who was the winner of the Hastings chess tournament? Well, of course, the winner was Capablanca, probably the greatest chess player in his era, by far. Not just the greatest chess player in his era, but one of the best of all times, Jose Rol Capablanca. And he was the winner of the Hastings chess tournament. And which was not a shock, isn't it? So let's check out how this game went on. Capablanca, who is playing with the white pieces, starts the game with playing d4, d5, c4, c6, knight to f3, knight to f6. So black is declining the queen's gambit, e3, e6, and blocking the diagonal for the light square bishop. And this is the semicircle of defense by black. Knight from b to d2, knight from b to d7, bishop to d3, bishop to d6, and both players castled, e4, and threatening to play e5, forking the bishop and the knight. D takes on e4, knight takes pawn, knight takes knight, bishop takes on e4, knight to f6, attacking the bishop, bishop to c2, defending, and b6 by black, queen to d3 by Capablanca, and maybe in this position Capablanca is threatening to play bishop to g5, attacking the only defender of the checkmate threat, queen to h7, would be checkmate after removing the knight. So it's quite an annoying position for black. This is why black played h6, preventing bishop to g5, b3, queen to e7, bishop to b2, rook to d8, rook from a to d1, bishop to b7, rook from f to e1, lining the rook with the queen, rook from a to c8, knight to h4, Bishop to b8, g3 by Capablanca, king to f8, and this was some kind of a waiting move. Black doesn't have any bright idea, and Capablanca played queen to f3, king to g8, going back, a waiting move. But Capablanca played knight to f5, sacrificing the knight, and attacking the queen. Of course the pawn is pinned, if pawn takes knight, then rook takes queen, so Roland Scott played queen to c7, defending the queen. If pawn takes knight, then rook takes queen. We have knight to f5, queen to c7. And what would you do in this position? Well, Capablanca simply captured the pawn on h6 with the knight. That's check. King to f8. Well, that was a temporary sacrifice of the knight. If pawn takes knight, then queen takes knight on f6. After knight takes on h6, we have king to f8 and d5 by Capablanca, opening the diagonal for the dark square bishop. C takes on d5 and bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, queen takes on f6 and black is in trouble. We have king to e8. After queen takes knight on f6, if something like d takes on c4, then there is forced checkmate. Queen to h8, king to e7, and knight to f5, and this is checkmate. There is no defense for black. So defending the king, king to e8. Well, Capablanca sacrificed his rook. Rook takes on e6 by Capablanca. What a move. We have f takes on e6, capturing the rook, and what else? Queen takes on e6, check. King to f8, queen to f6. And after this move, black resigned. There is no defense for black, and black is getting checkmated. But let's take it back. I just want to show you something. After queen takes on e6, if blocking beat the queen, then bishop to g6, and there is forced checkmate, 
Efter Quinto G8. This is checkmate. This is why, after Capablanca, captured on E6, we have King to F8. And after Queen to F6, Black resigned. There is no defense. And let me show you the possible continuation. If blocking with the Queen, then Queen takes Queen. And Black is getting checkmated in one move. The other possibility is King to E8, then Rook to E1. King to d7, and then queen to e6, check, mate. What a game. What a beautiful chess game by Capablanca. A piece of art. So this was the last position. After queen to f6, Roland Scott resigned. Capablanca was the winner of the Hastings chess tournament. And it was not a very difficult tournament for Capablanca because by far he was the best player in that tournament and in his era. So it was not a shock for the chess world. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.